Hey guys, welcome to another WYS by Adam Lesh. Today I want to talk about a product that I believe should be in every house due to its significance. And this product is the Mi Body Composition Scale. And this is a smart scale because it uses something called bioelectric impedance, BIA technology, to determine your body fat and so many other metrics that I'm gonna talk about in this video. But you don't have to get the Mi Body Composition Scale or the Mi Body Composition Scale version two because this is the first generation. There's another generation as well. I recommend this one because I've tried it and I think it's roughly accurate. There's a big caveat to this. I'm gonna talk about this pretty soon. I want you to know that technology can help you reach your fitness goals and technology can help you stay healthy. So if you have a gut like this and you know you've got a lot of fat that you need to get rid of, of course, you can get rid of it magically. I wish it was that magical. But anyway, if you have a lot of gut, if you have a lot of fat, you know that it's time to exercise and work your butt off. Get one of these scales and find out what these health metrics mean. So first, let's get the specs out of the way. This is a smart scale and it uses electric signals. It sends electric signals through these electrodes right here. You can see these are electrodes that you stand on and it sends these signals to your body. Bioelectric impedance analysis, or BIA, is a technique used to measure body composition. It sends a weak electric signal. You see these things? These send a weak electric signal throughout your body, and that current determines how much water is stored in your body. Impedance means resistance. Now, most of the water in your body is stored in your muscle and water has low electrical resistance or impedance. If a person has low impedance, the results will indicate that there's more water, which means that there's more muscle mass. The main benefit of having these devices, whether it's uh, the Xiaomi Mi scale, the Mi body composition scale, or even the Galaxy Watch 4 body composition analysis, which works by doing this, it measures the body composition from your wrist, whereas this measures your body composition from your legs. Anyway, the point is you need to have one of these devices in your house. Once you have a device like this, you can start measuring your fat, especially visceral fat. I'm gonna be talking about that, your body's fat percentage as well. You need to know all of these health metrics in order to be not just fit, but in order to be healthy and to ward off all types of diseases that could otherwise ruin your life and shorten your lifespan. Let's get the specs for this thing out of the way. This is the Mi Body Composition Scale. It has 10 precise data points according to Xiaomi. You've got, in addition of course to body weight, you can have accurate body composition. Xiaomi calls it accurate, but there's a big asterisk to this. I'm gonna talk about this. You can measure all sorts of things including muscle mass, BMI, bone mass, weight, body fat, water, body score, basal metabolism, and my favorite is visceral fat, which is the most important in my opinion. Now this scale identifies adults and children apart and has an auto user identification, so it can identify children and adults and works with Bluetooth, so you can pair the scale with your phone and you'll get all the data here. And I'm gonna show you how this thing looks. I'm gonna show you my health data. Don't tell anybody about that, okay? I'm gonna show you my health data and how to use this scale. But again, this is not the only scale out there. As a matter of fact, there is a plethora of scales out there, tons of scales out there on Amazon or whatever. You can buy any of these scales, and I recommend this one, of course, because I've tried it myself. Here is the big caveat. These devices are not exactly diagnostic devices. They're not medical devices. And sometimes they can be wildly inaccurate if you compare them to DEXA scans which are the gold standard in the industry for finding out more about body composition, including fat. But these are very good devices that can give you sort of a guide 
general information on where you're heading. Not necessarily very accurate information, although Xiaomi claims that this is very accurate. And maybe, by the way, it is accurate. I've seen some YouTube videos out there that compared results from scales like this with the DEXA scans. And anyway, the results were maybe five to 10 to 30% different. So for the majority of people that don't fall in extreme categories, whether very obese or very athletic with a lot of muscle mass, these things are fairly accurate. Of course, not as accurate as DEXA scans or these things that you see at the gym. They're called in-body, which use the legs and your hands as well for more accurate analysis. But these devices are very good for finding out where you are right now when it comes to your health, overall health, fitness, and I'm going to show you all these metrics that you can understand from using a scale like this. So all what you need to do in order to use a device like this is to step on it and it will send an electric signal, like I said, it will measure the resistance in your body, and then you're going to get the results on your phone, and I'm going to talk about the results here, but first, I want to walk you through these health metrics that Xiaomi and many other scales talk about. I want you to understand what these health metrics are. I have left a link in the description below for more information from Xiaomi on these health metrics. So let's go ahead and talk about these health metrics. Body mass index, or BMI, is an index of weight for height that is commonly used to classify underweight, overweight, and obesity in adults. Some of our body analyzer scales calculate your BMI value for you. So there are different BMI categories and charts. And according to the WHO, the World Health Organization, you can look at these charts and interpret your own BMI value. But remember that BMI is not accurate when it comes to fat percentages because it doesn't tell you where your fat is. Your, your BMI might be healthy or in the healthy range, but you could be completely unhealthy because of all the visceral fat or the fat in the midsection. So BMI is not the be all end all for finding, your, for finding out if you're healthy or not. There are more important metrics than BMI and I'm gonna talk about that. BMI gives you just a very rough estimate of how healthy you are. Next, we've got body fat and this is important. So the human body is made up of, amongst other things, a percentage of fat. This is vital for a healthy functioning body. It cushions joints and protects vital organs and it helps to regulate body temperature, stores vitamins and helps the body sustain itself when food is scarce. However, too much body fat or indeed too little body fat can be damaging for your health. It is difficult to gauge how much body fat we have in our bodies simply by just looking at ourselves in the mirror but of course that big gut is a big indication that you have a lot of body fat as well. This is why it is important to measure and monitor your body fat percentages. Body fat percentages give you a better measure of fitness than weight alone. The composition of your weight loss could mean you are losing muscle mass rather than fat, but you could still have a high percentage of fat even when the scale indicates that you are normal. And this is why I told you BMI is not an accurate measure of your health. The next thing we need to talk about is muscle mass. And according to the American College of Sports Medicine, lean muscle mass may decrease by nearly 50% between the ages of 20 and 90. So if you don't do anything to replace that loss, you're losing muscle and increasing fat. It is important to know your muscle mass percentage during weight reduction. At rest, the body burns approximately 110 additional calories for each kilo of muscle physique rating. And I like that. And I'm going to show you what this is in the app as well. So that assesses the muscle and body fat levels and rates the result as one of nine body types. As your activity level changes, the balance of body fat and muscle mass will gradually change, which affects your overall physique. So the physique rating that you get with this, for example, will tell you what your level is right now. And it's very nice to know. The body fat to muscle ratio and your body fat percentage is essential to know when you're evaluating your health. It divides your total weight in two categories, fat mass and everything else. You need fat to keep you warm and to protect your organs and joints. However, it's not healthy to have too much fat or too little fat. So if your body fat percentage is too low, your resistance to diseases and energy levels is lower and you are at risk of health issues. If your body fat percentage is too high, you have a higher risk of diabetes and other health problems. So therefore, it's very important for you to measure your body fat percentage and stay in the healthy range. Body water. 
And this is a problematic area for me. It keeps saying I don't drink enough water. And I think it's true because the best way to find out if you are drinking enough water is to look at your urine. So body water is the single most important component of body weight. It represents over half of your total weight and almost two thirds of your lean body mass, predominantly muscle. Water performs a number of important roles in the body. All the cells in the body, whether in the skin, glands, muscles, brain, or anywhere else, can only function properly if you have enough water. Water also plays a vital role in regulating the body's temperature balance, particularly through perspiration. The combination of your weight and fat measurement could appear to be normal, but your body hydration level could be insufficient for healthy living. And this is very important. Your basal metabolism. Your basal metabolic rate, or BMR, is an estimation of the energy measured in calories expended by the body at rest, like this, to maintain normal body functions. The continual work makes up about 60 to 70% of the calories the body uses and includes the beating of your heart, respiration, and the maintenance of body temperature. Your BMR is influenced by a number of factors, including age, weight, height, gender, dieting, and exercise habits. Visceral fat. Finally, the most important thing that I want to talk to you about. Now, visceral fat is very important because if you have a lot of visceral fat, it can negatively affect your health. We're not talking about this subcutaneous fat that you can just hold like this. Anyway, subcutaneous fat is that exterior fat. It's not the deep fat. Visceral fat is deep fat. It's that fat that is covering your internal organs and visceral fat is very bad for your body. Compared to normal fat, visceral fat is stored deeper in the skin and it's wrapped around major organs like the liver, the pancreas, and your kidneys. Visceral fat ensures that there's some distance between each organ, but too much visceral fat creates too much space between the organs. And that extra space, by the way, can lead to lots of problems, can lead to blood pressure, increased risk of heart attacks. A high level of visceral fat can influence your insulin sensitivity, and that can lead to type 2 diabetes. So visceral fat can increase your risk to anything from blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, strokes, and type 2 diabetes, all of which can negatively, adversely affect your health. And it's very important that you find out how much visceral fat you have. Now this app, it tells you how much visceral fat you have, and you really need to work on this if you wanna be healthy. Try to get your results in the healthy range. Now let's have a look at the app and see how it works. So this is the Mi app, and it's been revamped completely. I love the way it looks. This is my Mi Band, and you can get all your health data as well from your Mi Band and from the scale. So this is how it looks like. They've revamped it. You can see here the steps, sleep, heart rate, your PAI. I love this. The PAI is one of the best things I love about Mi products. And, of course, you've got the weight and body score. Now, once you get your weight and your body score, you can see them here. And if I tap this... The first thing that the app is going to tell you is your water. So my water percentage is not good. It's insufficient, 54%. Rapid weight loss is often the result of losing water together with fat. And that's why measurements which are taken after you just bathed or worked out might be inaccurate. So my measurement is a little bit low. Visceral fat. This is very, very important. Your visceral fat level must be reduced to less than 9. Keep doing exercises and having balanced diet. So mine right now is 10. I am on the borderline of normal. You can see right now it's considered high, so I have to bring it down to nine at least. The body fat percentage is 21.3% for me, which it's considering normal. So it says here that I have a lot of body fat and I need to pay attention to diet and do more exercises. You can see here, it's, this is not very healthy for me, so I gotta be careful about that. Now the rest of the things, it says that I've reached these five goals, but these are these are the, the items that I haven't reached. I need to focus on my visceral fat and I need to drink more water. And here it says that I've reached my five goals. Let's talk a little bit about this. BMI is 23.3 for me. That's considered normal. And of course, it's not really that good because it's on the borderline of 24. So your BMI is calculated by dividing the weight in kilograms by the height in meters squared. Remember, like the app says here, you can't judge if you're obese by just your BMI value alone. People can have more fat than muscle with normal BMI and still classify as obese. 
Next is your muscle mass, and mine is 56.44 kilograms, and that is considered normal. Muscle mass refers to the mass of skeletal and smooth muscles and other muscle tissues contained water. Loss of muscle mass will result in a lower basal metabolism and reduces energy consumption, and you'll gain weight or fat and you'll fall ill more easily. Getting more muscles is helpful to improve your basal metabolism so as to reduce body fat. This is important. I honestly don't know how this thing measures protein or whether or not it's accurate, but anyway, it's here. It says that I've eaten too much protein. I think it's true because I eat a lot of meat and chicken, so it says here that I need to have a more balanced diet. Next is my basal metabolism, and it says here that my basal metabolism is 1,569 kilocalories, and basal metabolism refers to the lowest energy required to maintain basic life activities. Basal metabolic rate is determined by how much energy is consumed by muscle mass. People with higher basal metabolic rate don't gain weight easily. So this is really good. If you have a good metabolic rate, you don't gain weight easily and this is what everybody wants. So you can keep fit. It says here you can keep fit and eat more meat, fish, soy, and dairy products to increase muscle mass. Bone mass. My bone mass is 3.03 kilograms and it refers to the amount of calcium, phosphorus, and other matters contained in the bone. So it says that mine is normal. Try to keep a balanced intake of calcium and do 15 minutes sunbathing and 20 minute exercises every day. I gotta admit, my exposure to the sun is not that great, so I gotta get myself exposed more to the sun, but you gotta be careful as well with that. Now this is a very interesting and sensitive topic for many people. Your body age or your biological logical body age. So your body age, for me, it says that it's younger, yay, <laughs> than my actual age, indicating that my functions of my body systems are normal. So keep a healthy lifestyle, do exercises, and maintain a reasonable as well as balanced diet. I've seen other people with an older body age, and that really sucks, man. You got to be careful. This is very important. Your age is not the same as your body age. Try to have a younger body age and you're going to live a happy, healthy life. Now, my ideal weight says here it's 70 and my weight here was 75. So I got to lose five kilograms to reach my ideal weight. But I don't want to just lose weight. I also want to gain muscle. And finally, my body type. Great, it says my body type is balanced. By the way, before I was considered overweight, but since I started exercising and taking my diet more seriously, I am starting to see more improvements in my body and the app is also noticing that. That's why now it changed to balanced. You can see there are different types of bodies. You've got obese, overweight, thick set, lax exercise, balanced, balanced muscular, skinny, balanced skinny, and finally skinny muscular. And you can see in the x-axis, you've got the muscle ratio, and in the y-axis, you've got the body fat ratio. So the higher you go in the y-axis, the fatter you are, and the more you go on the x-axis, the more muscular you are. And finally, the app here shows you the recent body fat changes. So you can see here if you have any progress and your body score. So the body score refers to the score obtained by analyzing height, body fat, water, muscles, and other data of a person. My body score right now is not that great, but I'm working on it. And this is why you should try these things. You can improve. I mean, look at this. These are different scores for me before. I am now improving and constantly watching my diet and health and exercise. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you really like this video, subscribe to my channel.